Hey, right, what's going on? It's your boy Clue. We locked in with 9A fans. Y'all know what the fuck going on. All right, my boy Clue, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on, my boy? You good? Hell yeah, everything good. My way, everything good with you? Yeah, yeah, for sure. All right, that was up, that was up. I'm glad to have you here, man. I've been, I've been checking you out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I've been, I've been watching your, your movement you had going on. Yeah. I see you, you got shows everywhere, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So I was like, yeah, this this the right one, this the right person to get on onto the show. Yeah. You know, so before we get into, you know, the nitty gritty of everything, I want you to just give me a quick rundown of, you know, yeah. about yourself, where you from, things of that nature. Shit, my name Clue. You feel me? From the east side of Atlanta, Kendall Road, Glenwood, you feel me? See, I'm a rapper, been rapping like, shit, like two years now. I just dropped my first mixtape officially, it's called As You Should 2. I dropped the EP last year in April, it's called As You Should. It's just like the sequel to it, bigger and better, you feel me? Got you, got you. So, now that we got that out of the way, let's get down to it. So you said you come from the east side, Kendall yeah. Road, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, um, in my opinion, that east side is like kind of like a, a breeding ground for artists coming up out of Atlanta right yeah. now. To me, it seems like a lot of folks are uh, really making their name for themselves yeah, yeah. Um, coming out there. So how has being from the east side helped you prepare your career? See, I mean, like, <clears throat> see, it really is just like, you got a lot of niggas to look at. Like, you can see what they done did on their path. That way you can figure out what's going to work for you or what's not going to work for you. Because a lot of niggas done did trial and error. So a lot of shit we ain't got to go through on our own. Like, a lot of niggas done pop from that side. A lot of niggas done flop. You feel me? A lot of niggas done got burnt out. You feel me? So like, I feel like it's equal. Niggas up and niggas who down bad from that side who just make music. But you feel me? I feel like I feel like east side the best side of the city. Like, you got the hustlers, the rappers, everybody getting at it over there. So you, you, think, you think that's what separate the east side from every other side of the city? Yeah, I just feel like... I I just feel like the way motherfuckers on the east side think it's just different from everybody else. I feel like we hustlers, you know, niggas, other niggas, they might got down slime you out the picture. But I feel like east side, we just hustling. We ain't really trying to, we we get active if we need to, but we rather just get to the money for anything. I feel it, I feel it. So, um, what you, you getting these shows and stuff. I see you, you, you going out to New Orleans, yeah, you getting booked, so. things like that. So, how, how you make that come about? Shit, man, just, just working my mood. You feel me? I got some folks down there who took care of like, everything on the ground and shit. But I've been trying to get to New Orleans. Like, I'm just trying to settle that play for like shit. Since I started rapping for real, just seeing how many like folks be streaming my shit and shit out there. And I was like, oh, yeah, we got to go out there. So, so you getting a lot of streams out there. That's yeah. what's making you go out there. Yeah, yeah. Got you. So, that, so that's smart. So you paying attention and yeah. then you moving around. I got you. I got you. So... Um, when when is your uh, your first show out there? Oh, uh, January twenty MLK Day. Yeah, we're going up. At, oh, boy, um, going up for MLK Day. Yeah. Okay. At Gaza, Gaza. That shit started nine. Is this your first your first out of state show? Yeah, no, nah, they're like my fourth or fifth. Fourth right. or fifth. So yeah. what what have, where all have you gone? Uh, shout out to um, Jock. You know, created after dark. We won a little tour last year. We went to DC, uh, Birmingham. Okay. Yeah, I was supposed to go to New York, but I had, had surgery and shit, so I didn't make it to that show. You still trying to get back out there? Oh, yeah, for sure. And we got to go to Miami, too. They had a Miami show for um, Art Basel that I missed. So I'm trying to get down here, all of them shit, plus more. So out of all the uh, the cities you, you know what I'm saying, you performed at, which one was your favorite? Shit. And I really, I say D.C. was my favorite, because that shit, like, I ain't never been in no atmosphere like that, like, like, you know, Atlanta shit might be popping on like a Friday or Saturday. And that shit might be popping like 2.30, but got down DC, that shit going crazy like four in the morning type shit. Like niggas just having fun, you feel me? You ain't even gotta have no gun no you. Got down niggas just having a good time living. Just having a good old time. Yeah, you ain't worry about dying and no shit yeah. like that. <laughs> yeah. And got down I'll say DC and I'll say Birmingham. The last time I went to Birmingham, like I feel like that was my best performance. I just had that uh, crowd rocking with me for real. Like they were going up. I had this on uh, unreleased joints and shit, and they were fucking with them. I got you. I got you. So, do you think it's uh, difficult for you being an artist? I mean, I be getting frustrated because this shit is so slow motion. I be feeling like I could got them go do some other shit, then make more than I make for music, like a year until this shit really rolling. But like, it's just stand down. You gotta know, like, this your crowd. This some shit that could. Make everybody around you and your circle life better. So you just gotta know you gotta stay down because this shit gonna come. Now I'm finally just accepting that. Like it's it coming, you just gotta be patient. So how long you been rapping? Shit. 
I started rapping like the end of 2017. So about what, two and a half years? Yeah. Oh, okay. So two and a half years, you already had five shows outside of your home state. Yeah. That shit hard. That shit hard. That's hard right there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, I, I be trying to tell folks. I be like, man, y'all, y'all don't really know how big you really are, or until you really leave your state. Exactly. And then your state, city, your your city or your state end up showing you love. Exactly. After you done went out there and went to New Orleans. Be. Like I just had a show in Atlanta, um, like right before Christmas, and they wasn't even fuck with me. I'm like, damn, I just got all this love. And some cities I ain't never even been before. I'm like, all right. But but that's how I be. Yeah. In in a sense, it it it, it be like that for me too. You know what I'm saying? Now when yeah. I leave, cause when I like when I leave, I'm gone. I'm yeah. gone for like two three weeks. Yeah. But then when I come back, everybody like, yeah. oh oh man, I'm trying to come do blah blah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They gonna show you that love when you leave. Cause yeah, they like, oh, yeah. hell no, they finna come kidnap my boy. Hey. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm already knowing how that goes. So, hey, yeah. um, how how's that experience for you? You know, since you. You you started two years ago. Now you coming up. You doing shows here, here, and here. How's that for you? That shit like crazy. Like looking back at, like I be trying not. To, sometimes I be feel like I be missing the moment. Worry about like what going on in the future and shit. So I be trying to like live in the moment a little bit. And like that shit crazy because nigga really just started rapping like out of some on some fun shit. Like not even expecting like to do this shit to this point. Now like damn like looking back at, it, I know like niggas who been rapping longer than me. Like, they ain't did no shows and shit out of state and shit, damn. Niggas be looking at me like, bro, you up? Like, yo, I be feeling like, damn, I ain't even up yet. But I guess you just got to take that shit in. Hell, I know how you feel, because, you, you know what I'm saying, in your mind, you probably like, man, I got a long way to go. Yeah. But for the folk that's looking at you, they, they looking at you like you a star. Like, exactly. oh, my, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. my boy Clue, oh, that nigga out there in Birmingham, he doing yeah. a show now. You know what I'm saying? Too many people can say, hey, my partner in another state doing a show. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. That make, make you look bigger than, than what you are, exactly. or you might be bigger than what you think you are. Yeah, you know exactly. what I'm saying? That shit be hard when you got them living in it, you feel me? I feel you, I feel you. Yeah. So, you had your uh, project, as you should, too. Is this the one that did, uh, like, 30K streams? I mean, yeah, you yeah. talking about that. So, your, your, this your second project? Yeah, then I got no second project. So your second project, 30K total streams. Yeah, and like, two weeks, for real. Two weeks, so you, yeah, two crazy. weeks. Project, when the project came, came out, like, in Christmas, didn't it? Uh, December 19th. Okay, December 19th, so a week before Christmas. And it's already, I don't even think it's January 19th yet. And yeah, I don't nah. think it's been a month yet. Nah, it's so, been like three weeks. Three, three weeks. That shit crazy. 30K. Yeah. Come on now. How, how, how you feel about that? You getting your 30K? What, what's up? What's that up? Shit, Talk to me. That shit crazy, bro, because I dropped the first one. And that shit already got down there more strings than that shit already. Like three weeks versus eight months. Like that shit be crazy because I didn't even expect that. I expected it. I know I done gained like fans and shit since the first tape, but just seeing how much that shit going up, like that shit was surprising. Like I didn't even expect that in the least amount. I got you, I got yeah. you. So what do you think uh separated what do, what do you think the difference was between the first tape and the second tape? Because though you said the first tape didn't yeah. get as many streams as the second one, right? Yeah. So what do you think the difference was? I feel like the first tape, I was just pump faking so much. Like I was I've been like, you can have my girl and shit. I've been saying, I'm going to drop a tape since I, I started rapping. Then I just held the music for so long. Then when I finally dropped it, you know, I feel like I fought with the songs, but I feel like they was just, I was just making music. I don't feel like I was making songs, if that makes sense. Like, with this the, the tape I just put out, I feel like I actually made songs. Like, I let people into my life a little bit, you feel me? Like, I told stories that, like, I ain't never really put on wax before. Like, I was talking about, like, losing folks and shit, doing stupid shit. Then just hustling. I feel like people, when you got down, let people into your world, they fuck with you more. Cause like they seeing like a part of you. Like you putting that shit, you being vulnerable and shit, and then that's what people gonna fuck with. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. true though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cause the people gotta, they gotta like you. Exactly. And then like your music too. You yeah, feel yeah. me? If you put your life into it, then nigga might be able to relate that. Like, oh, you know what? I went through that same thing. Yeah. You feel me? And then just like, I feel like the tour helped too. Cause like before I dropped the first one, I only had did one show in my life, and then I dropped that shit, got the tour, then we came back. So I feel like all the new folks were just tapped in on me. I got you. So, yeah. um, with this tour that you got coming up, how many, how many show, how many cities you hit? Man, I don't even know yet. Like every, everything's still up in the air right now, but I'm gonna try to do like at least a good ten. You feel me? Just going to like every market where I feel like I get a lot of streams at, and just letting that shit just build up. Folks who listen to music, they get to put a face to it. I feel like that's always a good move. I got you. So, uh, as an artist, what what kind of what advice would you give um, other artists? Man, just believe in yourself. That's the one thing I can say. 
Cause I know I done been at the point where I done pump fake, like saying I'ma drop this, I'ma drop that, and then I just hold it, and then I hold the music so long to where I don't even like that shit no more. I just feel like believing yourself. Like you think something to hit, I then put a little motion behind that shit, get that shit out there, lady folks hear it. Cause at the end of the day, you as the artist, you don't decide what's gonna blow, you don't decide what's gonna be the hit. That shit up to the folks who gonna listen to that shit. I got you. So why why you think you held on to your music so long? Was you was you afraid or you just want confident? Man, it's just like, I feel like it being selfish in a way. Like, oh, so I ain't dropping this until I got this many fans. Or, oh, you was like that? Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. I got you. I got just you. Just being like a little spoiled brat. Then, really, I just said, fuck this shit. I stopped caring, bro. Cause I used to analyze, like, the music industry. Even before I rap, I used to analyze this shit. Just trying to pick, not them, just reading books and shit. Just trying to put everything together. But then, like, when I dropped the tape, I'm like, bro, fuck this shit. It's, it is what it is. And then that when shit started taking off, when I was just, like, let loose, stop caring a little bit. Hell, yeah, I, I used to be the same way. It ain't, man, what, one thing I figured out about this industry, it ain't, you know what I'm saying, ain't no book, exactly. ain't no nigga that can preach you yeah. to death. Yeah. Everybody got their own path exactly. to how they going to get to where they're going. And it ain't going to be the same for everybody. Yeah. Like, one dude may follow the rule book yeah. and make it. One dude might not follow the rule book and make it. One nigga might exactly. do it halfway. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Everybody's story. Like, ain't, nobody, ain't nobody got the keys to it. Nah, hell yeah. nah. That's why I said nigga can preach till they blue in the face. Yeah. Man, that shit don't matter. <laughs> okay. Nigga just holler for no reason. Yeah. But um, since you've been you know moving throughout the industry, uh, what have you learned as an artist? Man, don't trust nobody. You feel me? Like these folks just trying to get ahead. Like niggas ain't looking at you like you a person. They're looking at you like a dollar sign above your head. Are like, you gonna run into some folks who not looking out for you? Like it should just be crazy, but like I remember the one nigga he tried to manage me. This nigga like had like a insurance clause in the con in the contract. Like it's it, like some like if I get killed or some shit, or I get locked up. He get the right to my music or some shit. Like just don't trust nobody, bro. So with that with that situation, uh, did, I'm assuming you didn't sign the contract. Yeah. <laughs> You know what yeah, I'm saying? Man. So uh, how did how did how did how did he present it to you? He was just like, "Hey, like niggas just tell you everything you want to hear." Like, like nigga might have connections, so he might goddamn go to Follies or some shit, get your shit played in there. Now you looking like, "Damn, this nigga, I might need this nigga," but you don't need nobody, bro. Like, if you can't do this shit on your own, and you could tell like people who fuck with you genuinely, or people who just trying to get ahead on you, bro. Like, just don't go for that shit. Like niggas gonna present that shit like. That shit gonna look fire. It's gonna look like. Then you start thinking to yourself, like, mm, this shit sound too good. You feel me? Like, I might not need to got. I might need to got down. Ask some other folks some advice before I just sign this shit. Niggas gonna try to trick you out the streets. I swear. I got you. I got you.